Prepare to meet your destiny! What, you mean... now? I am Creepy, the weird-looking thing! And I am here to fulfill the ancient prophecy of propheticness, which prophesizes that a vampire with bunny slippers will be reunited with his long-lost son, only to lose him when I, Creepy, the weird-looking thing, appear from another dimension and begin prophesizing about the ancient prophecy of propheticness! That's a very prophetic prophecy. I'm not finished! For the ancient prophecy of propheticness goes on to prophesize that unless a champion can be found to fight me, creepy, the weird-looking thing, that vampire will die a cruel and painful death at the hands of me, the aforementioned weird-looking thing. Who is your champion? Ah. Uh... Hurry! Cherub's in trouble! I can't find any wards for protection against weird-looking things! Uh, try protection against Tori spelling. It ought to work the same way. Don't worry, Dad. I'll protect you. Ah! Are you alright? That weird-looking thing must pack a mean wall. Yeah, and he punches hard, too. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Of course not. Where do you meet our real champion? Cherub, we don't have a champion. Yes, we do. Right? Roger? Uh, I can't fight that weird looking thing. What the hell else are you good for? Hey, I can fight normal looking things fine. I have always been very, very good at fighting normal looking things, but, but that thing's really weird looking. And kind of creepy too. Yeah, creepy and weird looking. Hence the name, of course. Uh, Cherub, you cannot make Roger fight that weird looking thing. Everybody knows Roger fights like a girl. Hey, I... Oh. Step aside, Cherub. This weird-looking thing is no match for my mildly irritating foo! <laughs> Ain't no mildly irritating foo. You've never seen a foo like mildly irritating foo. I'm gonna get all up on ya. And then I'm gonna get right down in ya. I'm gonna baffle your mind and boggle your senses. I'm gonna beat you at boggle and don't even try me at hungry, hungry hippo. Wow, that really is mildly irritating. Can I go now? Because I do in fact need a drink. You're gonna rue the day you ever faced my foo to the point where they will remember you as creepy, the rueful looking thing for my foo will fill you with I mention? I studied web design with Chuck Norris's nephew. So, Cherub, it looks like the prophecy of propheticness had a loophole, and you'll get to know your son Connie after all. What? Yeah, Dad, all that stabbing you in the stomach with kitchen implements? I don't know what I was thinking. Nearly losing you to creepy the weird looking thing made me realize that you're the only family I've got. Oh, no, I don't like where this is going. He's your son, Cherub. Give him a break already. Yeah, he tried to save your life and everything. After stabbing me with a spatula. Boys need attention, Cherub. It was just his way of reaching out. Please, Dad, can I stay here with you and your friends? Oh, all right. Awesome. Can I have money for cigarettes? No. <laughs> So, the vampire with bunny slippers wants to interfere with my diabolical plans of diabolicalness, does he? Well, you can't just eat the eggplant of mystery and not expect consequences. Like severe gastrointestinal clenching. What? Well, the eggplant is part of the deadly nightshade family, which gives some people a tummy ache. 
Silence! And you, supposedly my two brightest lawyers, you let that eggplant slip through your fingertips! We do have a very delightful orange, if that would interest you. What am I supposed to do with an orange? Juice? I am senior partner of this firm, and no vampire with bunny slippers is going to get the better of me! Now, a vampire with galoshes? That wouldn't bother me so much. A vampire with cowboy boots? I might do a little two-step with a vampire like that. A vampire with clown shoes? <laughs> well, now you're really getting me hot. But this... this cherry needs a lesson. And since you two incompetents botched the job, it's time to bring in professionals. Professional incompetence? Professional vampire with bunny slippers lesson teachers. They had those? Allow me to introduce you to Carla. Carla? Are you? Yes. I'm the gypsy woman that Cherub left for dead hundreds of years ago in the forest in Romania. I'm the woman that he turned into a horrible, marauding vampire without even knowing it. I'm the woman who bore his son, Connie. And I'm the woman whose father cursed Cherub with those cruel, cruel bunny slippers. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. Really? Yeah, you look like this girl Carla. I went to school Silence! with. Silence! For hundreds of years, I've hunted and killed anyone I found who wore bunny slippers, desperate for revenge. Now I've got the largest collection of pink faux fur in the world, but I've never found Cherub. And revenge is just what I'm in the market for. We're gonna pull out all the stumps. We're gonna rain on Cherub's parade. We're gonna finish his toilet paper and not put in a new roll. We're gonna tickle him in a very inappropriate fashion. We are going to deploy the orbital jellyfish. And we're going to have help. Aren't we, lover? Edmund the Squeaky? His name is Squeak. And Cherub is never going to see him coming. Although, I do actually squeak, so you might hear me coming. I, I don't know, really. <laughs>